onze historicus van dienst, Dimitri, is een echte deugniet. Vandaag vertelt hij het verhaal van een van zijn middeleeuwse voorgangers, de Vlaamse volksfiguur Tel Uilenspiegel. You know those mornings when you look in the mirror and you think, man, I did something stupid. Sounds familiar? Well, today's story is about human stupidity, a mirror, and some strange guy called Teil Eulespiegel. Let's take a look at what pops up at first glance. His name. Eulespiegel is composed of Eul or Owl and Spiegel or Mirror. Now, today we associate an owl with wisdom, but in the Middle Ages, an owl symbolized human stupidity. So, Eulenspiegel, like a medieval jester, had a moral role to play. By confronting and criticizing people, mirroring or reflecting their human stupidity. You know, those things you don't want to see when you look in the mirror. Tell appeared for the first time in German folk literature at the end of the 15th century. The stories of his numerous adventures spread across Europe and especially in these places, the Low Countries. These stories centered around Damme and they varied and changed along the way. So the original German brutal villain transformed into kind of a rascal, a deugniet in Flemish. And he became an immense popular character. So Eulenspiegel became kind of a chameleon. He could take on any shape or form. And in 1867, Charlotte de Koster wrote a book that would make a critical turn in the myth called Tell Eulenspiegel. The story about a young rascal or deugniet changed into the tale of a freedom fighter, fighting against the Spanish oppression of the 16th, 17th century. So again, Tell Eulenspiegel changed. He became a symbol of resistance. And it's this last twist of character that really boosted the Flemish search for identity. Along with another book you might know, The Lion of Flanders, written by Henry Conscience. Now, what is true about this story? Many theories have been published since the 19th century, but it's highly unlikely that Eulenspiegel ever lived. But still, he remains an important figure for Flemish culture. His character lives on in countless books, television series, music pieces, and even cultural societies. But sometimes, he's been used by regimes or political parties for the benefit of their own political agenda. And considering this, one can only say that human stupidity still remains. We force people to become something that they aren't, or we do again and again some things we shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> 